Well, hey everybody, welcome back to Studio K, Paula's Retro Kitchen. We are going back to the 1960s once more this summer, and we are going to offer you some tasty food and some even tastier tunes from the 60s, courtesy of Mr. Dale McKenzie. So, what are we making today? We are actually going to be making a classic from the 60s, early 60s, chicken a la king. Tell me you have not had this. It's a super simple recipe, and because it's so simple, I also did a couple of also retro 60s side dishes and a little dessert that we're gonna show you as well when it's time to chow down and eat. So, how do you like my uh, June Cleaver look today? <laughs> A uh, seersucker was very common in the early 60s, and of course, cardigan sweaters as well. So let's talk about ingredients for our chicken a la king. First of all, you're gonna need some cooked chicken. I baked mine, we'll talk about that in a few minutes. And it goes with some peas and pimentos in this case. Recipe also calls for mushrooms, um, but I can't do that, I'll tell you why. And then, the best part about it is that you put it over toast. I even found some Wonder Bread and look at all these things that are going in that wonderful rich sauce. I've got chicken broth, I've got whipping cream, I've got milk, eggs, butter, and flour. Ooh, I can't wait to taste this sauce. Let's get cooking chicken a la king coming up today on Paula's Kitchen. The thing about recipes is you have to be able to adapt them if you need to. In the case of traditional chicken a la king, it uses sauteed mushrooms. I happen to have a guy, Cameraman Dale, who is allergic to mushrooms, so although I would love to use my 1962 version out of this amazing cookbook, I actually had to go on the web and take a look for a classic chicken a la king dish that called for peas. So I am making one called from a website called thestayathomechef.com and so we're gonna make a very classic and rich sauce and we're gonna use peas and of course traditional pimento. So it's gonna be very pretty, I think, as well. Second thing to note is there are several ways you can get the cooked chicken that the recipe calls for. In my case, I just roasted it in the oven real quickly with a little bit of oil and butter. I didn't flavor it any other way. You could also boil the chicken in some chicken broth or water. And you could also, at your grocery store, purchase a rotisserie chicken as long as you didn't buy one that was flavored because you don't want one that has you know, lemon garlic or something. Um, for this particular delicate recipe. So, next step for me is I need to get out of these four chicken breasts, I don't know how much I'll need, I need four cups of it chopped. Not sure if I'll need all four or not, we shall see as I get chopping. However, you don't need to watch me chop, do ya? I think I have something a lot more entertainer, entertaining for you, and that is more songs from the kitchen from that wonderful Dale McKenzie. He's going to sing another sad one, you guys. Breaking up is hard to do. Comma, comma, down, dooby doo, down, down. Comma, comma, down, dooby doo, down, down. Comma, comma, down, dooby doo, down, down. Breaking up is hard to do Don't take your love away from me Don't you leave my heart in misery If you go, then I'll be blue Cause breaking up is hard to do Remember when you held me tight And you kissed me all through the night Think of all that we've been through Breaking up is hard to do They say that breaking up is hard to do And now I know, I know that it's true Don't say this is the end Instead of breaking up I wish that we were making up again I beg of you, don't say goodbye can't we give our love just one more try? Come on, 
on, baby, let's start anew. Breaking up is hard to do. They say that breaking up is hard to do. And now I know, I know that it's true. Don't say this is the end. Instead of breaking up, I wish that we were making up again. I beg of you, don't say goodbye. Can't we give our love just one more try? Come on, baby, let's start anew. Breaking up is hard to down. Breaking Up is Hard to Do, written by the wonderful and talented Neil Sedaka and performed by him back in 1962. That seems to be a theme. Anyway, what did you think? Oh my gosh, Dale, I loved it. <sighs> Meanwhile, over here at the stove, I have chopped up coarsely four cups of chicken, which ended up being about three of my chicken breasts. By the way, you don't need to use white meat. You can use dark meat or a mixture or whatever you happen to have. As long as it's chicken, we're good. So I've got four cups in total. And what I'm gonna do next is get rid of all this stuff, get my saucepan out, and we're gonna start to cook. Got my saucepan set up and I have put in a half cup of butter. I'm gonna get that started. Oh, let's make sure I turn on the right burner here. Medium high heat, let's get that butter melting. And this is the point where if you are using mushrooms, you're going to add eight ounces of sliced mushrooms and saute them in the butter. So I'm gonna skip that step, of course, as I said before, and we're gonna make a roux with a half a cup of butter and a half a cup of flour. So let's get that melting. This recipe, chicken a la king, uh, can be served over basically a number of starches. You can use rice, you can use pasta or noodles, you can use potatoes, you can use biscuits, and we are gonna use toast points, which is kind of a traditional uh, treatment for chicken a la king. That's why I got the Wonder Bread. <laughs> as soon as you get that melted, I've got a half a cup of flour measured out here. And my instructions say stir until there are no more specks of flour left. In we go. Alrighty, turn my pan around so I can hold on. Wow, that is making a beautiful classic roux. I need two cups of chicken broth, so I just picked up some Swanson at the store. Ooh, that smells good. <laughs> All right, and then get some milk, cup and a half of that. Get my milk in there, and I'm gonna turn my heat back up now. I'm paying attention to it. Back to about medium. Alrighty. So, let me look at my clock real quick so I get my three minutes once it starts to boil. Now, the enriching part is what we're gonna do next, which is I'm going to, I need this one more time. I need a third cup of heavy whipping cream. Ooh, boy. That's wonderful. And then I've already uh, broken up, I'll show you in the overhead camera, just a couple of egg yolks. So I stir that little bit of whipping cream and that little bit of egg yolk together. Get that going there. And this is actually gonna go into my sauce once my sauce is a little bit further along. So I'll set that aside, it's ready to be worked on. And I'm just going to watch this, bring it to a boil and do the simmer. And I'll be back with you guys in just a moment. Folks, while my sauce is cooking away here, I do want to just do a great big thank you from Dale and myself 
for some wonderful gifts we received in our post office box within the past week that are kitchen oriented. So first up from Ryan in Palmdale, we got boysenberry punch concentrate, Knott's Berry Farm. We are, it is very hot here and very humid here in Las Vegas. We are looking forward to having a chilled glass of this over some ice. Thank you, Ryan. Second, from Jason and Chelsea in Maryland. These wonderful Starbucks cups, we love these. We also got one from New York City from Ivy last year, and also uh, I think we have one from Texas. So thank you, Jason and Chelsea, for our Maryland mugs for coffee and tea. And Jason and Chelsea also sent us Baltimore Ravens shot glasses for Scotchmas later this year. And finally, I don't even think I can pick these up together. Brianna in Australia sent me not one but two amazing famous cookbooks by Australian authors and cooks. Brianna, I cannot thank you enough. I sat here yesterday morning with my tea and I read the bios and the intros and thumbed through them. They're wonderful. Thank you so, so, so much. I love them. Oh my goodness. We are so grateful. Thank you. Let me check this. It is almost coming to a boil, so I'm going to start counting my three minutes. My three minutes is about up, and this sauce is looking glorious. Take a look at this. Wow. So here's where we're going to take it that one extra step. I have my two egg yolks and my little bit of whipping cream, and I'm going to take my half cup measure. I'm going to take a little bit of the sauce, and then this is going to be tricky. This is where I need another person. I need to drizzle this in slowly and whisk the whole time and then this is going to go back into my sauce. All right, this is going to go back in my saucepan and we're just going to cook it for a couple more minutes. And then finally, we're going to put some food in this thing. <laughs> All righty. Hey, I made a little mess, but that's okay. All right, this is beautiful looking. Couple more minutes on the sauce and then we're gonna wrap this baby up. We are ready to finally assemble our chicken a la king. All right, we are going to add one, this is where you'd add the mushrooms if you had them, um, but we are going to add one cup of frozen peas, one cup of drained pimentos, which ended up being those two jars uh, that I purchased at the grocery store. And then, finally, the four cups of our chopped chicken. And give them a great big stir. And then I'm just gonna heat through for a few minutes till it's all hot and bubbly. Oh my gosh, it really looks like a party. <laughs> so, I need to get my toaster out. I need to toast some Wonder Bread and make some toast points. And I also need to get out my 60s themed accompaniments for our meal. You don't need to watch me do that though. Let's see if we can get Dale to come back in and tell us a very enticing tale about poison ivy. Uh, she comes on like a rose But everybody knows She'll get you into dodge uh, You can look, but you better not touch Poison ivy Poison ivy Late at night while you're sleeping Poison ivy comes a-creeping right around She's pretty as a daisy But look up, man, she's crazy She'll really do you in If you let her get under your skin Poison ivy Poison ivy Late at night while you're sleeping Poison ivy comes a-creeping right around Measles make you bumpy, moths will make you lumpy, and chicken pox will make you jump and twitch. A common cold will fool ya, 
and hoop and cough and coo ya. But poison ivy, Lord, it makes you itch. Yeah, you're gonna need an ocean of calamine lotion. Hey, you'll be scratching like a hound. The minute that you start a messing round with poison ivy, poison ivy. Late at night while you're sleeping, poison ivy comes a creeping right around. Measles make you bumpy, moths will make you lumpy, and chicken pox will make you jump and twitch. A common cold of booya. And hoop and cough and coo ya. But poison ivy load it makes you itch. Yeah, you're gonna need an ocean of calamine lotion. Hey, you'll be scratching like a hound. The minute that you start a messing round with poison ivy, poison ivy. Late at night while you're sleeping, poison ivy comes a creeping right around. La di da 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 da. 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 Poison Ivy. What'd you think of Dale and the Dale Tones? You know how hard it was to get those two guys together? <laughs> <laughs> I had to be a part of it every step of the way <laughs> to make that happen. You more or less did, didn't you, Dale? <laughs> I have to tell you, I was at work when he masterminded that and he showed me I was so dazzled. We couldn't wait for you to see it. <laughs> that, that was a big production. Trust me, folks, that was a big production. Just that little thing at the end. I was almost going to use them all the way through, but then I thought, no, let's make it a surprise. And it was. All right, let's get to this stuff. So, yes, Toast Points, Chicken a la King, and then some other 60s staples. We did some deviled eggs, some pickles and olives, some celery with and then cream this cheese. Thing. And that is called a Raspberry Bavarian. It's a very common dessert from the 60s. It's made of gelatin. You know how popular gelatin desserts were and evaporated milk and I whipped the heck out of it and it's got raspberries and blueberries. It's great. I, I, I licked the bowl. Absolutely. <laughs> it was really good. But dinner first before dessert. Now let me just tell you something. Go ahead. When I was in junior high school, that we had this at least once or twice a month at school and it smells exactly, exactly like it did back then. I can't wait to give it a shot. So you just take a little bit of toast. Right, take a bite of toast. And you do have a knife in case you want to nope, cut the toast. No, I got it. I hope it's, it's pretty hot. He stuck his nose in that pot and said, oh my gosh, it takes me back to junior high. What do you think? Mm. That is so good. That is so 60s right there. Really, really good. Nutritious, I yeah. think. Mm. Wow. Just terrific. It doesn't need salt and pepper. It's really, really good. Wow. Superb. One more bite. Yeah, I'm waiting for the bell to ring to go back to class. Mm. <laughs> I promise you don't have to go back to class. No. <laughs> you do have to tear everything down, though. <laughs> I always do that. <laughs> so before we go off camera, let me just cut into this Bavarian. Bring me my little spoon. And we will show you this beautiful dessert. This gelatin dessert, light as air. Look at that, oh my goodness. It called for raspberries, frozen raspberries, but I did both, raspberries and blueberries. Gotta love them. Mm. I'm gonna have a little bite of this I'm as well. I'm gonna give it a try. Yep. That is amazing. I love it. I mean, if you were to, you could put a crust around that and it would be, I won't, don't wanna say the word, but mm -hmm. it could be one of those things. <laughs> You could also top it with some whipped cream or some ready whip if we wanted to go totally 50s and 60s. All right, put that down I love and that. back to your dinner. 
<laughs> what about the deviled eggs? Yeah, and I made deviled eggs this morning as well. Very classic for the 60s. And uh, so anyway, what can we say? I'm Thank you very much for performing for us. I am so sorry that it took so long to get back to us to do this, but uh, a lot of, we, I had to take last week off to do the uh, music videos, plus I did a very, very special Christmas video with Durango Dale, and that took all, well, some of it's not even done, but I... You're going to love yeah, it. It'll be worth the it. wait. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I think it's a big winner. It is a delicious meal, and you saw, really easy to do, really easy. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification button. What's coming up next, Paula? We actually have a staycation that is in the can, and you'll be seeing that on Sunday. Hope you had a good time. We'll see you next time. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye, everybody. Thanks for being with us.